Hi folks, today you're joining us in Marlborough. We're riding up this valley towards the Waikakaho walkway, which is today's trail. It's an old gold mining trail, so hopefully it'll be fun and we'll see some interesting mining relics. We'll hopefully stop and check some of those out so you can see what it's like. So we've come about 10k along the road and uh, here we are as the turn off to the walkway. So there's a sign here keeping us out of this deep pit. Okay, the start of the single track. Old Gold Miners Trail, village clearing two hours, saddle two and a half, Collinsville five hours. Walking times, and with Doc they're usually conservative walking times, so we might not be out for five hours, I hope. After climbing for about 10 minutes, the camera's microphone stopped working. I wouldn't find this out until I was back home editing the video, so I carried on yakking. The climb up the hill was hard work. It was steep, it had slippery roots, slippery rocks, things to step up and over, and moss all over the track. The day was also very hot, which resulted in me sweating buckets. After an hour or so, I had to change the battery in the camera and found sweat actually inside the battery compartment of the camera. Then the gimbal, the stabilizer, started to make some bad noises. We can't be listening to that, so I'll find some background music and do some horrible voiceovers for a bit. The description of this track warned us about a fair bit of bike pushing, and we can confirm this. This side track leads to a lookout. You guys just sit back and put your feet up. We'll do the hard work and take you up there.
After negotiating a tricky ridge section, the track opens up and we're rewarded with a fun descent and views of the Marlborough Sounds. The possible combination of the bumps on a downhill and me not sweating over the camera equipment anymore results in an improvement on the camera and the Gilman Bowl's performance. Happy days, that could have been an expensive day. Oh, hitting something here. Intersection of something or other, let's have a look at the signs. It's pretty obvious we've got to go this way. Oh, I hope it's not four-wheel drive, the rest of it. Susie's found the track again, we think, by this rope attached to the trees going down this cliff face. Man, I can see where the rope stops, it just gets steeper. Just leave the bike and have a look first, Suze. Susie's checking out where this rope goes, and if it's actually the track, we've lost the orange markers. Um, just came to road end and we saw was this rope coming down, so this is our only clue out of here. Okay, so we made a bit of an error just there. We came down the nice zigzags on the grass down here. Saw the arrow here to the left and carried on around this road, but there's actually a little grassy track here that we completely missed. So if you're going to do this, you're now informed. You won't make the same mistake. Jump, I missed it. Jeez. Oh, left. Through the slosh. Oh, more slosh. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh. Dragonflies are everywhere. <laughs> Tell you this grass is slick. Whoa. And the corners are sharp. Didn't make it. Oh my goodness, that's sharp. And it drop on the outside. Yep. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, there's no way I'm going to make that corner. Like the grassy hippens. Oh god, there's another one. And another one. Boom, boom. Dragonfly! Oh, scratched up. What do we got? Yeah. No, that looks that looks tricky. Rideable or not? Feet wet. Wow. Hot in the sun. A nice little rock formation on the track. Providing a bit of shade. It's quite nice and it's about 28, 29 degrees in the suns. Four hours. Four hours, okay. To look out for these rocks hidden in the grass. Quails. I'm hoping this river that we're following, you can hear it now in the background. Oh, here we are. Oh, that's, isn't that beautiful? I get my feet wet for you guys at home. Just so you can see what is here. Oh, that's beautiful. And the water's not actually too cold. As I was saying before, if there is a nice river, I think I might jump in. Oh shit! So I just went to grab my handlebars, got a bit of a fright. Is this guy sitting right there? So take my bike for a spin. Hmm. Very cool, but sorry, buddy. You gotta find your own way around. Come on, mate. You gonna let go? Go on. Off, off you go. There we go.
suddenly it looks like a farm. Down through here, yes. Comes to the electric fence. No. Oh, it's quite deep. Oh, that was nice. Sorry we're so late. Right. Far out. Right. It was a bit different than we thought. So we just popped out of the end of the track and hit link quarter. Took a right hand turn and heading towards Picton. And there's a few new bits of cycleway along here to have a look at. On the cycleway now, heading towards Picton and Anakewa. Nice to be off the Queen Charlotte Drive just here. Just pull over in this lay-by and have a look at the Marlborough Sounds. So they've been uh, cutting in this track. The link pathway it cuts, means that we can not stay on the highway ride this amazing track beside the water all the way to Picton Where we're finishing, 